This video is called Casing Around a Skylight. I saw this on Chief Talk and I just had to throw in my two cents of what I thought uh, might be a quick and fast and easy way to do this. Trying to get a nice trim molding around your skylights on a vaulted ceiling. Obviously on a flat ceiling would be quite easy, but with a vaulted ceiling it does get a little tricky. So this is what I would do. Um, basically just take your square CAD tools and draw yourself a CAD line. I'm going to take this CAD line, hit C on my keyboard concentric to kind of expand the CAD line around the skylight that I've created. I'm going to open it up and see that it is just a polyline specification, a CAD line, okay? So let's convert this bad boy. We're going to convert it to a 3D molding, and then let's pick a nice flat molding, which is nice. Let's go, and I have, um, I have some different ones that I've drawn up, but you can pick any casement molding you want. Um, ah. Either way, it's got to have the detail on the bottom is what you're after, guys. Don't get a detail with the side because we're dealing with the bottom molding. So, yeah, this one or this one. What do you think? Eh, eh, eh. Let's try this one. Click OK. Um, I'm going to make it one by four. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. And let's stick it up like 96 inches off the ground. Click OK. And take my full camera view, and I can see there's my case molding I've just made, and I want to place it now onto that skylight. So if I try to manipulate the rotation of the angle of this trim molding, it would take each side individually one at a time. So that would be a lot of mess and a lot of hassle. So the easiest thing to do there is just select it, copy it, create a new plan real quick, control paste, and then uh, look at it in 3D. So you got it in your 3D view, and then simply go File, Export as a 3DS, and let's call it Trim Molding. Click Save. Um, gonna exit out of that, exit out of that. Say Don't Save. And we'll go ahead and delete this molding altogether. Okay, go back to the floor plan view. We go File, Import, Import a 3D Molding. I'm going to import the 3D Trim. Furnishings exterior sounds good. Click OK. If you uh, check that box that says advanced specifications, you can kind of go in here and take a look at all the different specifications you could bring it in as. Or just going to say OK, whatever. I'm going to plop it in the plan, select it, maybe open it up, maybe raise it off the bottom 96 inches. Go to our full camera view. Here's that molding again. Now it's a whole symbol. It's a nice piece. And if I go to an elevation of it, See, my elevation tool is right here. I'm taking cross-section elevation of the, the molding. I can get in and I can grab it until I get my red handle there, which is good, or whatever yours might be, gray handles or whatnot. And I can even expand it. If I zoom in a bit, I can make it a little bit bigger. Why don't we do that just for our shaping purposes? We'll make it a little thicker. So here it is. And now, since it's a symbol, I can open up this bad boy right here, and I can go to my rotation. And let's turn on our X, Y, and Z. We can kind of see which way it needs to go right so let's go x and let's go one at a time and let's start rotating and we'll rotate on up to what we think it is it doesn't really matter what it is it just kind of guesstimate ah, i got pretty close so i'm going to open it up some more go to x let's go one at a time again rotate a couple more times yeah it looks pretty good right and then let's try to grab it again once we do we can grab it right up against there full camera view bada boom bada bang baby Let's ray trace that bad boy. You're good to go. You can just copy and paste it right in place uh, where it is to um, get the other side. In fact, let's cancel this ray trace and do that too. Might look a little nice. And we can bring it down probably, try to get it to where we think it should go good. Copy and paste in place. I'm going to drag it over some more. Something like that. Yeah, I mean. Looks like it needs to be shrunken and raised a little bit around the trim. Uh, some more this way. Because the hole that it was creating looks like it's a little bit different. There we go. And that is how I would make my trim moldings for the plan. Let's retrace that bad boy. For making a custom trim molding on a vaulted ceiling for a skylight. Hope you enjoyed the video talk to y'all again soon but of course but of course i have to let it ray trace right yeah i gotta let it ray trace so here's on pass four doesn't look too bad and pass about eight so that's not too bad huh pretty good baby hope you enjoyed it talk to you soon later probably not probably will probably won't five